and welcome to our webinar this morning. Thank you for tuning in and listening. I will be your host for today. My name is Radhika Kotak and I work in the marketing department here at Rail Business. I will also have a guest joining us today, Sarah Turner, who is also part of the amazing Rail Bookers team. She will be telling you about the six different ways to travel to Switzerland. I'm super excited to be a part of this webinar and inform you about all the amazing journeys, journeys that we provide to get you to and around Switzerland. So why book with Rail Bookers? I'm going to tell you a little bit about us, but I'm sure you already know most of it. We are a team of rail experts, or we like to call ourselves the self-confessed train geeks, with extensive knowledge and the best routes and the best timings of rail systems throughout the world. We have insider access, so that means our direct partnerships with rail companies and around the world mean that we have access to special rates and availability, which are not accessible to the public. And by booking with us, you get complete flexibility, meaning you are able to book your holiday in 2019 or even 2020 when tickets aren't released to the public yet. And of course, we tailor make to fit your exact requirements. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and let us take care of hard work. We know that with so many routes, trains, languages, and providers, booking your holiday by rail can be confusing and a stressful task. But don't worry, that's where we step in. Or, you, or like I said, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and get on board. How amazing is that? All these fantastic reasons are why we have won so many awards. As you can see on the screen, these are just some of the companies we work with directly around the world, which means that we can get the best rates and availability for you guys at any time. So we do many different types of holidays. Firstly, as you may already know, we specialize in tailor-made holidays. So just let us know what works for you. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether you want to fly from your local airport or spend a few nights in a certain country, just let us know and we can arrange this for you. And of course, we specialize in scenic rail journeys. We have some scenic views today and we're looking at the best six ways to visit Switzerland. We also provide luxury and private journeys too, which is perfect if you're celebrating a big birthday, anniversary, or just simply want to travel in style. We also do city breaks, so you can still travel along with us even if you don't have as much time. Whether you want to get Amsterdam, Paris, or the south of France, come to us and we can arrange everything for you. You can be surprised how far you can get via rail in such a short amount of time. We also provide rail and sail trips. We have loads of customers who absolutely love a cruise. We can provide a rail holiday before or after a cruise. Whatever you prefer is something we definitely offer. We also do lakes and mountain trips for those who want to soak up the views and scenery. Here you can see some of our top destinations here at Rail Bookers, from Italy to Switzerland, Spain and Portugal, USA and Canada and Scandinavia. These destinations are high in demand here at Rail Bookers and extremely popular. Italy and Switzerland of course offer some, offer some of the most scenic train journeys around the world with beautiful views whilst travelling around. From the Swiss tourist trains to travelling around Florence and Venice. And Spain and Port Portugal are very popular. After all the snow we've had here in London, I think everyone wants to get away from the beast of the east and you want to get to the sun and beach. USA and Canada. Whether it's the coast to coast trip down to the USA or the Canadian Rockies, we love to put together trips that let you experience these epic trips. And Scandinavia. Scandinavia is popular because of the beauty, but also how fast it is to travel around Scandinavia because of the high speed trains that run regularly. In today's webinar, as previously mentioned before, we will be discussing the six best ways to travel to Switzerland. If you have any questions at all, let us know. I know you have already sent in your questions, but there will be a question box on the right hand side of the slide, which allows you to ask anything. If we don't get a chance to answer your question on, at our webinar, someone will definitely get back to you. I will now pass over to Sarah, our guest speaker, who will tell you the best ways to get around to it. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for uh, Radhika for introducing me. I'm very excited to share Radhika with you. She's the newest member of our marketing department and of course, really looking forward to sharing the six best ways to see Switzerland as well. So we're gonna have some of the most scenic journeys in the world um, on the presentation today. So hopefully you're looking forward to getting a glimpse into them. We're going to start with an absolute classic. 
two of the most famous trains in the world, the two most scenic trains in Switzerland, perhaps certainly the most famous, the Glacier and Benina Express. Now you're gonna see these two trains come up a lot <laughs> during this presentation. We do so many different types of holiday with them, combining them with different cities and different trains. And it is because they are the most popular. If you're new to rail travel in Switzerland, if you're new to scenic trains, this is the perfect place to start. This holiday shows just how easily you can combine these two trains into one experience. So a couple of nights in a couple of different places and both trains can be done in just five days. Start off, you can take the train um, all the way from wherever you are in the UK, all the way from London, come eventually in Switzerland into Interlaken. And we love having people stay in Interlaken because it's such a fantastic hub city. It's a very traditional kind of mountain resort. Interlaken means between two lakes. So it's actually kind of nestled between lakes Tun and Brienz, which means if you've got a spare day or so in the city, you know, have a wander around and kind of explore the amazing scenery that's available there and some fantastic day trips you can add on as well that we'll definitely look at a little bit later on in the presentation. It's a great city because it's really easy to connect to the Glacier Express train, uh, very fondly named Europe's slowest express, um, which is named it, it is quite fond of takes about seven and a half hours to cover the whole route if you were to do the whole thing. And just look at the panoramic carriages you can see on the picture of the train there. It is so easy to see all of the scenery that's around. So you're gonna see the amazing mountains of the route, lots of lakes, lots of waterfalls and different kinds of scenery as you, uh, as you make your way along. The panoramic carriages are certainly available in both first and standard class. So you're gonna be able to see those incredible views regardless of which class you travel in, but we're happy to organize the upgrade for you if you wanted to go in first. Either way as well, you'll be able to order really, really delicious food on board as well. You can get three course lunches. We can pre-book these for you or you can book them on the day when you're there. So it's completely up to you what you'd rather do get really nice traditional food and a very nice bottle of white wine on board as well, which kind of makes for the perfect accompaniment to sort of seeing the amazing scenery as you roll along. There's our gang, <laughs> our lovely team, our vice president of, uh, of sales from California and uh, some of our rail experts there enjoying um, a nice glass of wine and, and a meal on the Glacier Express. And you can just see the the huge windows there that everybody's going to get to see out of, watch the scenery go by. You'll get off the Glacier Express in Kerr, uh, which is quite famous. It's got a car-free old town. It's definitely, if there is a quintessentially alpine city, kind of Swiss city, this is probably it. Uh, there's some nice aerial cableways that you can take up around the city, look up, down over Kerr and over the mountains. Around it so that's a really nice thing to do if you wanted to add a day on to your trip to have a little explore of the area it's also a great city because it links the two very famous very wonderful scenic trains so you've taken the glacier express now it's time for the bernina express and just trust me when i say the the which is better between the glacier and the bernina express is a debate that we have like every week here at Rail Bookers HQ. We love a uh, what's your favourite train debate. Uh, but I always say the Benina Express is my personal favourite train in the whole of Switzerland. It runs from Kerr down to Tirano in Italy. You can have lunch in Italy, turn around and uh, see the route from the other side as you come back. The whole thing basically runs on UNESCO listed tracks. Got the same incredible panoramic carriages. And it's just incredible how it kind of negotiates with the scenery as it moves along. So bridges, tunnels, I think there's something like 55 bridges and uh, 55 tunnels and nearly 200 bridges just to kind of make its way around this kind of area. Um, insane natural beauty along the way. And you'll cross the Landwasser Viaduct, which is very, very famous, Tor Viaduct. Sometimes you see kind of bungee jumpers and things like that jumping off it. So rather than me, I'd rather see it from the train. But it is one of the most beautiful journeys. And, and as I said, you'll have to do both to see which is your favourite. But the Benina Express definitely has a, a soft spot for me 
it's got a soft spot for our product manager as well because he met his wife on it and um, so there we go you never know the romance of the Benina Express so that's kind of the simple holiday that includes those two trains you could do just one or just the other but it's really easy to do both as you've seen just link up in Kerr do the glacier then the Benina or do it in reverse whichever you'd rather it's totally tailor-made all of our holidays here at rail because are totally tailor-made if you wanted to build it up into a bit of a bigger holiday that is definitely possible and this is a really great route that combines the two trains that you've just seen with an excursion to the Jungfrau Jok the highest railway station in Europe and also a trip along the Golden Pass line another panoramic train very, very famous and, and different kind of scenery as well. You can see it's in a different part of Switzerland. Okay, so you can either fly into Geneva and then catch the train to Montreux, or of course you could uh, take, the, take the trains, just one train from London to Paris, switch over in Paris, and then it's a three and a half hour journey from Paris to Geneva. I did that for the first time last year. It's a really beautiful journey. It goes along sort of uh, the Aine Gorge and the Cisbullers on Viaduct. So definitely take the train if you've got the time. Um, of course, I, I would say that, but, <laughs> but it is a really, really wonderful journey. So you're in Montreux, very famous for its jazz festival, of course, which takes place every July. So if you want to see that, July is the time to travel. If you want to avoid the crowds, don't travel um, you know, that little bit of time in July. It's got a wonderful mild microclimate um, and a wonderful kind of promenades with lots of Belle Epoque buildings. It's um, also got the, the famous Chateau de Chillon as well, a medieval island castle that's kind of on the lake there. So lots of things to do and see in the city as well as using it as a base. You can then take the Golden Pass. So that is both a train and sort of a route. Uh, you go along kind of a lot of cogwheel sections through kind of the upper class hotels and resorts and, uh, and shops of Gestad along the banks of Lake Geneva, obviously when you, uh, when you start off. Um, and then you go along the Simmon Valley, so famous for those Simmental cows, um, which you will more than likely spot a few of. You go through lots of farms and sort of see very small villages dotted along sides of the tracks. You get lovely views of the lake as well as you pull into Interlaken and the windows are similar to the Glacier and Benina Express on those panoramic carriages there you can see. So you will get to soak up all the scenery, you know, kind of fix your camera <laughs> at the window and, and kind of take pictures as you go along. There's actually the option as well. Uh, you can pay sort of just a small supplement to the train and sit right at the front. So you get the views kind of up front, side to side. It's absolutely incredible. So definitely something to consider if you are taking the train. But again, panoramic carriages in both first or standard class. So then you'll come into Interlaken. As I said, it is a really great, uh, it is a really great hub. So it's got kind of everything that you'd want from a city while still being surrounded by the lakes and the mountains. If you do have a bit of time, extend your stay and uh, head into the surrounding areas. You can use your Swiss pass. So just make sure that, you know, we, we know that you want to do that. We'll get make sure you've got a Swiss pass that covers your whole journey. Then you'll be able to travel on any train you like um, of the regular trains to kind of see the area surrounding Interlaken or indeed wherever you are. But. There's lots of kind of lovely forests and alpine meadows and uh, glaciers around the city. So it's a lovely place to base yourself. The Jungfrau and the Jungfrau Jok, the station, is one of Switzerland's most fantastic day trips. And it is definitely something that you won't want to miss off your itinerary. Really easy to do from Interlaken. Uh, it's a couple of trains. You can take the, the, the train to Kleiner Scheidig, and then on the way back, we'll take you through Grindelwald. So you'll get to the top of that mountain and you'll see two different bits of scenery because um, we'll obviously take you up one side and then uh, lay you down the other. <laughs> um, so it's great opportunity to see the, uh, see the views from the top, obviously. You can see out as far as France and Germany on a clear day from the top of the Jungfrau. Uh, you do go up sort of 3,000 odd metres um, stopping the tunnel along the way where you can kind of get off, they have stops, look out through the tunnel's panoramic windows, which is a really amazing thing to do. And obviously then when you get right to the top, you'd have some time to 
have lunch in the restaurant and have a wander around before coming back down the other side and so you'll see the, the different scenery make your way back to Inslaken. From there, you'll take the Glacier Express or connect on to the Glacier Express and you'll do two full sections of the journey on there on this holiday. So you'll go all through the Upper Rhone Valley and uh, over the Oberalp Pass, get up to heights of sort of 2,034 metres. So, you know, you really do go up and down at that lovely slow pace, kind of soaking up all the scenery as you go. This is incredible scenery that you just can't see from the roads as well. The rail really is the best way to see Switzerland. The roads aren't even open sort of in the winter time and in the early spring and late autumn. So the only way to see it is uh, is by the by the rails and just the scenery that you get as well. You can never really get from the roads in Switzerland. You go along the Rhine Gorge on this part of the trip as well. They call it the Swiss Grand Canyon. Um, which kind of shows how impressive it is. It's really, really fantastic. And uh, then you go from Andermatt to Kerr, which is the most breathtaking section of the whole of the Glacier Express route. As in the previous holiday, you can have a night or a couple of nights, however long you like, in Kerr before taking the Benina Express. And you're across the whole beautiful canton of Graubünden. Uh, there's lots of different ruins and castles that you'll see along the way. Um, you go through very, very narrow valleys along the Landwasser Viaduct, um, which you actually, if you'll allow me, I'll flip back a slide because you can see it there um, on the Glacier Express route. But you can uh, cross that amazing viaduct and kind of see the, the wonderful views out from there. You go past Lago Bianco, which is white lake even in my kind of basic italian i can work that one out and then um, go up to the ospizio benina station 2253 meters above sea level and there's loads of different kind of lakes and and monuments and things like that to see you go over the bruzio spiral cross down over the italian border have some lunch have a little wander around Tirano. And then, I mean, you could always continue on into Italy from there. You can get down to Venice, Florence, Rome, or come back up to uh, to Kerr and make your way home, either fly or, or go by rail, whichever you'd rather. This scenic Switzerland holiday is kind of uh, jam packed with so many scenic trains and excursions and day trips and everything like that. I mentioned earlier our product manager met his wife on the Benina Express and not just for that reason this guy is kind of the biggest fan of, of the Swiss railways and Swiss travel and this is his little pet project so he's created what he thinks is the perfect itinerary to kind of see as much of Switzerland as you can get all those scenic train journeys in incredible day trips and this is just the best way to see Switzerland and it's so popular because it really does you know if you love the rails and you want to see all of the scenery of Switzerland and you want the best way to see it you got a bit longer this is definitely the way to do it so the first train will be the Benina Express as I said it is it is my favorite um, I told you you'd be seeing it a lot in this holiday and um, in this uh, presentation and here it is again in this holiday it really is fantastic not one you want to miss you can see the panoramic windows of the train and that's it going along the Bruzio spiral so it kind of works up as I said really does have a lot to negotiate with in the natural landscapes of Switzerland. You then get the Glacier Express train and continue the route on from what we saw on the previous holiday and go to Zermatt. We've had a, a lot of looks at the train kind of in the spring and the summer with the wonderful kind of flora and the lovely alpine meadows here it is in the winter, so completely different experience, very much a Narnia-esque kind of winter wonderland as you move along the tracks. You can see the snow-covered mountains and the meadows covered in snow. It is absolutely beautiful and the, the train obviously runs in daylight, so you're going to get to soak it all up from the panoramic windows. From Zermatt as well, obviously we have a couple of nights en route in different places along this trip. Um, but it's the ways to see Switzerland, it's the, the scenic trains that I love to wax lyrical about. If anyone's ever been on one of my webinars before, um, I have to be like physically stopped from talking about all the different amazing trains there are. This is a fantastic one. You can see the Matterhorn in the background there and the Matterhorn is an incredible sight. 
you're going to get great views of it from the Gornagrat Railway, from the, uh, from the top of the Gornagrat. It is a cogwheel railway um, that goes all the way from Zermatt right to the top of the mountain for incredible views over the Matterhorn. Uh, really, really wonderful kind of old tracks, kind of has to get right up, right up there. So it is cogwheel. Then you travel back down to, uh, to Lausanne, so you'll see the lakeside and kind of Lake Geneva and things like that along the route there. Definitely uh, look to extend your stay in Lausanne if you can, because there's lots of wonderful architecture and a really relaxed lakeside vibe that uh, lots of our customers really, really do love. After some time there, you will take the Golden Pass. So we saw that amazing panoramic train uh, that goes through the Simmental Valley before. Take it to, uh, to Montreux and you really do, you know, smoke up all of the amazing, uh, all of the amazing scenery from here goes kind of mainly along the narrow gauge tracks, very panoramic journey and you see vineyards and lakes and it is still mountainous because it's Switzerland, but it's a much kind of different kind of journey to the Glacier and the Vienna Express, which are really focused on the, on the mountains. This has got wonderful rolling hills and meadows and you know those Simmental cows as well that uh, I certainly got very <laughs> excited about. So you'll get off the train in Lucerne, uh, famous for its preserved medieval architecture. It's got a lovely, colourful old town and that great bridge. It's got a covered bridge uh, with sort of different images and stuff as you walk along it, which is really, really wonderful thing to do. It's This is our head of rails, favourite Swiss city. Um, so high praise indeed for Lucerne. We'll give you a couple of nights there so you've got time to have some local food, walk by the lake, really, really kind of get get a hands-on feel of the city. It's also a great base uh, of as well as Interlaken that we saw on the previous holiday to do the Jungfrau day trip. So you get to go right to the top of Europe, they call it, um, that amazing railway station, the highest one in Europe, 3,454 metres above sea level. It's about a two hour journey to get there. And you know you can see there the journey in the winter, the amazing views that you'll take in. They do have stops, especially in kind of the mountain tunnel that they do. And as I said before, look out on a clear day, you can see to France, you can see to Germany. It is truly wonderful and get some snow there right on the tops of the mountains, even in the uh, in summertime, obviously, to really, really get that wonderful Swiss experience. And the holiday includes one more day trip as well. So a trip to the top of Mount Pilatus, which is a wonderful journey, very, very famous. Um, one of the most amazing ways to see Switzerland. It includes cable cars. Uh, so perhaps not if you're, um, if you're scared of heights. Um, <laughs> I actually love a cable car. I think they're one of the most amazing ways to, uh, to see the scenery. The one exception, um, I'll just go off on a tangent, being one in Hong Kong with a glass bottom that um, uh, my brother and my cousin were jumping on as we were kind of going across the across the treetops there. And that, that wasn't my favorite, but this one is fantastic. And you really can see just out in all directions from here. So give you a little bit of an overview of the journey. During summer, you kind of take a boat across Lake Lucerne to start off. Then you ascend via a, just a, a narrow gauge train, really lovely up to the cable cars and there's a viewing area there that you can kind of have a look out and get right to the top. It's the steepest uh, normal rail well, railway in the world, um, uh, maximum gradient 48%, which is uh, quite impressive. And then the aerial cableways and the panoramic gondolas as well, it's two connecting cable cars, means that you see out in all directions and uh, it really is an incredible experience to and kind of round off your trip to Switzerland, you'll have seen so much and all of these amazing different routes. You get a boat, there's um, just a bus to take you back into town at the end, train and cable car. So you get it all with this day trip to Pilatus. A different type of train now, uh, and this holiday is brand new for 2018. Uh, so we're sending our first guests on this. We sent our first guests there last year. The train actually only started running at the end of last year. So you really will be one of the first to experience the new Gotthard Panoramic Express, um, which we're getting incredible feedback on already. I can't wait to take this journey, hopefully in the summertime. 
you can fly in from wherever you are in the UK, um, you know, whatever your local airport is, to Zurich, or of course, just one change in Paris, London, Paris, Paris, Zurich. Really easy to do by train. Travel down to Lucerne and get the amazing views from the Gotthard Panorama Express. Lucerne, again, a star favorite, as I did say uh, here at Rail, because you can see the amazing preserved medieval architecture there. And, the, the city kind of sits on the lake amidst these lovely snow-capped mountains, got very old, colourful old town and sort of surrounded by these 14th century ramparts. So there's loads to see and do in Lucerne for a couple of days. Um, a really nice kind of relaxing place to, to start off your holiday. And then you get this incredible journey and it's pretty much half and half, half boat, half train. Uh, and it is just, it is, just supposed to be fantastic. We re um, really have gotten wonderful feedback on it. A couple of our staff have already done it, uh, the lucky ones. Hopefully I'll follow them soon. You start off on the boat from Lucerne to Fluellen. Um, so it kind of has city views of Lucerne to start off with. And as you pull out, you get views of Mount Pilatus, Mount Ouija as well, that we saw on the, uh, on the previous holiday, Pilatus. And then you can see the Gotthard Pass where you're going to be taking the amazing train journey afterwards you can see that from the boat there's an outdoor section in the summertime so you can have a drink there's a bar on board have a drink watch the scenery go by as you go across the water beautiful beautiful you can also see um tell's chapel which is where william tell escaped from the, uh, from the austrian bailiff so that's pretty exciting i'll point that out to you on the journey it's about three hours uh, the whole trip on the boat so you, you know you see the mountain passes and everything like that a really relaxing experience then it's a really long walk to the train station i'm only joking it's literally three minutes <laughs> so three minute walk from the, getting off the boat to getting on the train which is absolutely perfect and then you take a two and a half hour long journey through really really impressive scenery and a, along the impressive impressive engineering of the gotthard railway and this runs along the same route as a lot of the Orient Express train that runs from London to Venice. You're going to be getting the same views as passengers on the Orient Express for a lot of this. It goes through the, uh, the valley on the River Roos and uh, kind of takes 10 minutes to go through the old Gotthard Tunnel. Um, it's a bit of Gotthard's history that there was always a tunnel there that kind of transports you from one sort of scenery into another. It takes about 10 minutes to go through. And last year they opened a really long kind of 60 kilometer Gossard tunnel that cuts out loads of the scenery on the way down from uh, Switzerland into Italy, which was really kind of disappointing because now you've got to change to get all the scenery on that route. But with this, you don't. This, you don't have to change at all. You get to see all that incredibly, incredible scenery that people have you know, been seeing for decades and decades on a lovely panoramic train. I should point out, that the panoramic carriages here are in first class and standard class only has standard kind of carriages. Still got nice windows, but not the panoramic ones. So you can upgrade for just this journey if you want to, or we can upgrade your whole Swiss pass so that every journey you do in Switzerland is in first. Completely up to you. But yeah, it definitely isn't one that you want to miss this trip. When you do come out of the, the, the old Gotthard Tunnel, you, you're in a different world. You go through Italian canton of Ticino, still in Switzerland, but lots of Italian flavored villages and palm trees and things like that. So it's very clear you're in a kind of completely, completely different territory. The rail journey ends in Lugano. And, you know, we've looked at kind of Zurich or Kerr on this presentation. And this is still in Switzerland, but completely different. An amazing mix of kind of Swiss Mediterranean kind of cultures. Uh, you've got the lovely kind of uh, Bella Pop buildings and then the neoclassical pastel colored palazzi that kind of line the lake there as well. Really, really wonderful. And uh, it's kind of hot, totally centered around the north bank of Lake Lugano with mountains there in the background. A really, really lovely, different kind of take on, a, on Switzerland there. And it's not a, a far hop at all down into Italy to Milan, where you can either fly back to the UK or Milan's actually Italy's railway hub. So pretty much all of the um, main cities will be serviced by a high speed railway link from Milan. So, you know, from there, it's kind of where do you want to go? Get down to 
Florence, Rome, Venice, Naples, Verona, the Italian lakes, all direct from Milan. So this is a perfect way to get down into Italy and use that amazing scenery in Switzerland and then combine it with a, with a lovely trip into Italy. Two more ways to see Switzerland. And this is a bit of a different one as the other holidays have seen you kind of moving around a bit. Whereas this one, you'll stay kind of basically in one place for your entire trip part in Switzerland. So you'll make your way down to Wengen, um, which is very different to a lot of the other uh, places that we've seen. It is everything you think of when you think of a typically Swiss chocolate box town. Uh, right in the Bernies overland, lovely kind of villages, got timber chalets and Belle Epoque hotels and things like that, all with this magnificent mountain backdrop. So what a wonderful place to kind of situate yourself in for four nights. The hotels there are family run, so not kind of the big chain hotels or anything like that. This is a really authentic experience. The surrounding areas are kind of full of these phenomenal views, you know, really deep in the Alps here. So you can go take trips to the nearby waterfalls. If you know you, you've got your Swiss pass, obviously, that will enable you to do that. You can take a trip to Grindelwald, which is uh, the other side down the Jungfrau line. That's a lovely day trip as well. It's just so different to kind of Interlaken or, or any of those, um, which are still great, but this is quieter. Get that fresh Alpine air. There's no cars here. Kind of all the family run hotels as well. Make it a lovely place to stay. From there, we'll do a couple of day trips for you. And uh, this is a really exciting one up to uh, Schilthorn take the train to Murren and then it's a mixture of a cable car and a train ride up to the top of this amazing mountain. When you get there, that's kind of the views out. So lovely, lovely views of the snow-capped mountain peaks. And there's a revolving restaurant as well. So you can have a great dinner and watch the scenery from kind of 360 degrees, which is a lovely experience. You might know of, um, of Schilthorn because it was also featured on the James Bond film on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Uh, so that's, if it looks familiar from that picture, that may well be why. Um, so, you know, recreate those scenes, um, you know, at your own risk. <laughs> but we're gonna get you safely back to Wengen. And then another day you can have that Jungfrau trip as well, because it's the perfect place to, uh, to send to yourself. So you go up, see all the way out from the top of Europe. It's 3,000 meters above sea level. Absolutely fantastic. From there, it's just a, uh, an easy train ride back via uh, Baal or Zurich to Paris. And we'll give you an overnight there uh, so you can have some time in Paris, see the city if you've been once, if you've been a hundred times. You know, is, is there a better city in the world? I'm, I'm not convinced of it. Maybe London. Um, <laughs> but, you know, kind of, this, we work with a huge range of hotels here. So whatever you're looking for, we'll uh, certainly be able to help. And um, that you can add on trips to the Eiffel Tower or the Seine River cruises, extend your nights so that you're there for, you know, two nights, three nights, four, however long you like. Uh, I'm going to Paris in two weeks for four days. Um, which I've been on every webinar, I'm like, I'm going to Paris in five weeks, I'm going to Paris in four weeks, and now it's kind of two weeks away, really excited. So the next day you can get the Eurostar back to London, Ebb Suite or Ashford, anytime you like, let us know which Eurostar you want us to book you on. We'll be more than happy to do that so you can see a little bit of the city of light. Our final way to see Switzerland here, and I mentioned on the Gotthard Panorama Express holiday that it's an easy way to get into Italy. And this is a fantastic way as well. And this isn't the most simple route to get to Italy, but with rail because it's kind of, it's really easy. We'll organize everything for you. The hotel stays along the way. You can see all of this amazing scenery and get a, a nice mixture of different journeys and uh, get the Bonina Express and the Bonina bus along the way. And it's just a fantastic way to combine a lot of the Swiss scenery with then your trip down into Verona or wherever else you wanted to go in Italy. London to Paris, Paris to Zurich, have an overnight there. Obviously Zurich's quite a famous kind of global center of banking, um, but there is actually loads to discover in Zurich. And it, it really isn't just kind of a, you know, 
just about the banking and the industry. There's lovely picturesque views kind of on the River Limat and on Lake Zurich. So great waterfront promenades that you can wander down. And it's got an old stat, an old town with picturesque little lanes and pre-medieval history. So definitely a, a lovely place to have an overnight. Then you can take the train down to Lugano, which we saw on one of the previous holidays. It is basically Italy, this. <laughs> uh, it's got the largest percentage of Italian speakers of any city outside of Italy. And uh, I love it because it's got the amenities of a world-class city. Uh, so the amazing dining. So, you know, there's, there's industry there. There's um, kind of, you know, real people living their real lives, <laughs> as it were, in this beautiful idyllic setting but it still feels like a small town. There's, you know, little Swiss, Italian, Mediterranean kind of town. Um, so there's, it really is a wonderful place to spend some time. Not only will you do the Benina Express, but you'll also do the Benina Bus, um, which is a great experience. It kind of uh, is mainly sort of on Italian soil. You go along the Val, Valtelline Valley. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tongue twister for you. Um, and along the banks of Lake Como and Lake Lugano. And then you'll take the, uh, the Benina Express. You take that along the Land Vassa Viaduct. This is a brilliant picture here of the Benina Express. Along the Land Vassa Viaduct, up to Kerr. As I mentioned, it's got that great car-free old town. And there's funiculars and things like that, cableways you can go up to get the look down over the city, like the one that you can see there. It's a lovely route from Kerr to Innsbruck on the train. And now you might see we've crossed into Austrian soil. So it really is a, a great mixture of the best mountain scenery of Switzerland, Austria and Italy. Because I kind of think if you're like me and you love the mountain passes and the scenic trains in Switzerland, Austria and Italy's mountains are going to appeal to you as well. Um, so Austria, obviously, um, and Innsbruck particularly, famous for winter sports. Innsbruck is the capital of the, the western state of, of Tyrol. If you do stay there for a couple of days, there's a great funicular called the Nordkett funicular. It takes you up into the mountains, look down over the lovely river and the town, things like that. So definitely recommend adding a couple of nights if you do have time in Innsbruck. And then we've seen the Gotthard Pass and it's the Brenner Pass, which is a different mountain kind of pass in Europe. Uh, that will just take you through a lot of the scenery that's on the northbound route of the Orient Express between Innsbruck and Verona. Famous, obviously, for its Shakespearean um, uh, kind of uh, associations. You can go to Juliet's balcony and take some pictures. It's got an amphitheatre dating back to 1 AD there. Um, so you can see kind of opera in one of the most fantastic places in the whole world. So... That's a fantastic thing to do. And you'll end up in Verona. You can travel on to anywhere in Italy that you like from there pretty much. So thank you very much for uh, your time and for having, uh, you know, allowing me to, to wax lyrical about these wonderful journeys that we do offer in Switzerland. If there's one thing that I can stress, it's that everything's tailor-made. You want to, you know, I want to do that bit from that journey, that from the other, that from the other. We've got such a great team train geeks basically here who can put all of that together for you tailor make an itinerary that's just for you add nights extend nights do things in reverse however we can help just let us know and i'm going to pass over back to uh, my colleague radica now who's going to uh got some we've had loads of questions so please do keep them coming and she's going to pick a couple and i'm going to try and answer them <laughs> wow, well, uh, thank you, I hope that this has answered most of your questions that you had about travelling by train and giving you the information that uh, is about Switzerland. We're still accepting questions. If you do have any more, send them to us at webinars at railbookers.com and we will write as soon as possible. Of course, all these reasons are why you should book with Railbookers Rail for any holidays you do want to go on. Uh, if you haven't got our brochure yet, head over to our website at www.railbookers.co.uk forward slash request hyphen brochure and we will get one out sent to you in the post. Of course, some of our best holidays are in this brochure, however, not all of them are listed. Remember, we do make tailor-made holidays and they can be as unique as you want them to be. 
You can also visit our website and search by a destination to see what else we have on offer. And if that, if you want to go and um, where you want to go, and if it's not on there, you can give us a call on 0203 7802382 and we will help. Thank you for everyone who's joined our webinar today. However, there can only be one winner from today's webinar who will win a massive £50 after spent on their next rail holiday. Uh, and the winner of today's webinar is Paul O'Callaghan. I hope I said that right. Uh, well done, and we'll be in contact with you on how to claim this, so keep an eye out. Once again, thank you for everyone who attended our webinar. Absolutely everyone who tuned in today gets £25 off their next rail holiday. So let us know via email, phone or contact, or you can contact your local travel agent when you want to redeem this, and we'll get this all booked up for you. Don't forget to quote RB Web APR to use this great offer. And when you're ready to book, you can get in touch with us via telephone, which has been displayed at the bottom of the screen on the screen on 0203-780-2382. Or alternatively, like I said previously, you can pop into your local travel agent who I'm sure would love to help. Uh, we will now move on to answering some of the many questions we've received. Oh, okay. So there's so many to choose from. Let's have a look. So Peter would like to know, how far ahead can you book the Glacier and Benina Express? Great question. Hi, Peter. Thank you for joining us. And um, that's a great question. And uh, I know that um, yeah, you're looking at one particular holiday, the Glacier and Benina Express trip. Great choice. Um, I won't get into it again. Don't worry, everyone. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can book that with us whenever you want really i'm not sure when you're hoping to travel but you know we we do kind of take the things all through this year all through next year and even into 2020 so to get the best availability on the trains the best availability at the hotels give us a call whenever you've got some kind of provisional dates or you want a little bit more information and we'll certainly be able to help that goes for any of the holidays that you've seen today. I know Radhika did say at the beginning, um, you know, don't worry about when kind of tickets are released to the public. We've got you. Uh, so do give us a call about that holiday or or any any others that you want to book in the next couple of years and uh, let us get cracking with them. So our next, uh, next question. Laura would like to know when's the best time to travel? That is a great question. And I can see we've had lots of different variations of this question. You know, can I travel in February or can I, you know, go in the summer or what's the best, you know, time of year to do the Glacier Express and things like that. So it's a good question that comes up a lot. And basically, there's not really a particularly best time to travel. The trains, the scenic trains do kind of take a little hiatus for uh, the kind of depths of winter. Um, because then obviously you know you'll you'll be able to, to kind of use the route when you're traveling. That's what that's what you want to know, <laughs> and things like that. So you'll still be able to see it in an incredible winter wonderland if you travel in the winter time. You'll get the amazing kind of views of the the green meadows and the lakes and everything like that if you travel in the summer. It is completely up to you. Lots of people like to travel in the spring and summer and that way kind of all of those day trips and things like that will be running. I won't go through, you know, each one individually, but, uh, you know, they do use kind of different routes a lot of the time in the summer. So that way you're going to be able to do everything that, um, you know, that, that we've that we've looked at on this presentation. But there are so many opportunities for incredible Swiss holidays and Christmas market breaks and things in December, January, February. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. It's quieter then. You'll get those lovely kind of log fires and uh, all the, the apro ski without the ski, which is my, my kind of skiing. Um, so just let us know the kind of dates that you're looking for. And if the particular thing that you're, that, you know, if one particular thing isn't going, then we'll find you an alternative and you'll still be able to have an amazing Swiss holiday got loads of questions Radhika how many more can we do two more I think <laughs> that is a good question 
Um, thanks, Jill. And, and hopefully you've got one in mind that you're particularly looking at. But they are basically completely flexible, as I said. So um, I know you asked this question early on in the webinar, but they're completely flexible. So if it says London, you don't have to take the train from London. You don't have to fly from London. If it says two nights in Lucerne, but you want to spend four um, because like our head of rail, that's your favorite Swiss city. Um, no problem, that's ab absolutely fine. You can make it as simple as kind of doing one of our holidays in reverse to kind of sending us a list of everywhere you want to visit and all the scenic trains you want to go on and we'll create the route for you. It's totally flexible, independent, tailor-made and just want it, we just want to get it right for you, honestly. So let us know your uh, criteria and let us hopefully impress you. <laughs> and, and lastly, what's it like on board? Thanks, Tom. That's a great question. And uh, that's a question that we get for kind of all trains all over Europe, all over the world, to be honest. It's, it's, it's definitely a, it's a good question. Um, so thank you for, for asking it so I can answer it for everybody. Um, and essentially on board the trains, the trains are, are, that we've spoken about here are fantastic. You've got the Glacier, the Benina, the Golden Pass, which are incredibly modern sort of trains with those big panoramic windows. You can get food and things on board, whether that's kind of at seat three course meals like on the Glacier Express or a kind of a trolley like on the Benina Express where you can still get food. You can take your own food on board as well. I should have mentioned that. You can definitely pack a bottle of wine and some uh, things that you've bought at the local the local store and have a little train picnic. One of life's greatest pleasures, that. Um, the seats will kind of be arranged either in seats for two or around tables of four. If you upgrade to first class, then there's often the choice of having a table for two or um, individual seats as well. It's going to be quieter in first class, more space to store your luggage and uh, you know more different kind of seating options available to you. Even with the Swiss passes, so I should have said that, um, sorry Jill, for your question about the flexible itineraries, is that when you've got these Swiss passes, you're completely flexible on, on your travel. So obviously we'll you know, organise your day trips and things like that. But if you've got a Swiss pass for a day and you're free for a day, sky's your limit, take it wherever you like. These passes work really well in Switzerland. Um, and we can book them in standard or first class for you. And even the little regional trains, I mean, it's Switzerland, so they're incredibly timely. Um, and they're really nice, you know, got a really solid kind of uh, railway network and system that sadly puts us here in the UK to shame. So great, great question. And thank you very much for asking it. And I think that's probably all we've got time for, do you think, Radhika? Yeah. Well, thank you, Carol, once again, to the Switzerland. And thank you all for tuning in. Remember, you can call up, you can call us on 0203-780-2382 or pop into your local travel agent. We are open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see you on our next webinar.